A. Don't get your tits in an uproar. It's going to be fine. And we do drink wine every episode. It's we do. part of our charm. You know, if you have a problem with that, sweep on by. <laughs> I want a divorce. <gasps> now, did you drink the night before when you got there? Of course. Okay. I wanted to be like, ah, when I found out it was the dad the whole time. So no one's talking about the fact that yeah. there's a funky bucket full of shit over in the yeah. corner. Do you live by any words of wisdom? Um, snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another episode of Listen, Here's the Thing. It's Katie and Mr. Nugget. And I'm Miko. And here we are. Here we are. Dude, I'm so excited to do this with you today. Normally, we see each other all the time. Life has been hectic. It's been a little crazy. Uh, you've been in Ann Arbor every weekend. I know. So we don't have our normal price key we for don't have extravagances. Our, yeah, our normal routine. Yeah. We have so much to catch up on. So much to catch up on. What I'm going to start with is they were reviewing this last episode that went out, um, who, Chris, and he was like, you said something got your tits in an uproar. I've never heard that before in my life. Have you ever heard someone say, don't get your tits in an uproar? Never. Really? I don't, I don't even know what that means. Does it mean your boobs are on fire? Does it mean- No, it means like your- Your bra is too tight. Like, um, I'm trying to... F- like, don't get flustered. Don't get irritated. Don't get your tits in an uproar. Okay. So, heard it my entire childhood. So, I'm thinking to myself, like, like, well, you know, people say that. But then I'm like, I don't feel like I've said that in a long time. So, then I called my dad and he's like, oh, I've said it, I've said it your entire <laughs> life. I've said it your entire life. And I'm like, oh, I re- Where did he get it from? Grandpa saying it, too. He, start, he thinks it might be a Chicago thing. Oh. Okay, I Chicago friends... Yeah. Have you heard of tits in an uproar? But then when I really started to think about it, I would never say, I don't want to get my tits in an uproar. I feel like men would say it to women, like, hey, don't get your tits in an uproar. It's Is it be like, fine. don't get your panties in a bunch? Yes. Yeah, it's the, the okay. same definition. So you think it was sort of like men saying it to women because yeah. they had, but men have tits. Yeah. I don't know. When I look back on it, I don't think it was a female empowerment type of thing. I think it was the opposite. <laughs> but I'm female. changing it right now. It was basically like, shut your mouth, lady. Yeah. But I'm, I'm taking it back for, for the ladies right now. What are now. we going to say? I don't know. I'm making a fucking t-shirt. Yes. Don't get your tits in an uproar. So Girls only. Girls only. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you could say. No, men can only say it if you physically need to wear a bra. Oh. Well, some men do, I in know. all fairness. Well, I so. mean, we've met a few. Yeah. Don't get your tits in Not saying names, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we got some questions about our Tuesday night well, just the, wine. Well, the wine in general. Right? We drink wine every episode. We do. And we don't really talk about it. We talked about the one time we drank white wine. Um, shout out to Patty because she loves Justin. Love Wine Patty. Yeah. Um, but also we normally drink red mm-hmm. and I got a special kind of buzz that episode from white wine. Yeah, it's weird. It's different. It's so different. Yeah. Um, but we love wine, so that's no do. secret. No secret. And we do drink wine every episode. It's we do. part of our charm. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you have a problem with that, sweep on by. <laughs> <laughs> but Tuesday, we say Tuesday night wine because it's like your everyday wine. We're not going to spend $100 on no. Tuesday night wine. Unless it's an eight-minute time. You know? Yeah. Like the, nope. like, unless I need to name it or friend. <laughs> yeah. Then I might bring out the $100 yeah. wine. But other than that, it's like... I don't know. Decoy. What else? Are? Yeah. It, a, Walking a, tu- a Tuesday night wine is probably $25 and under. Yeah. You I know, and it's, you just need a glass of wine. You're not opening anything fancy because you might just have one glass and you don't care if you have to pour the rest of it right. down the sink. Absolutely. Um, you could or, pour it in your dinner. Yeah. For cooking. Yes. And, you and then if you're having a big wine night with friends mm-hmm. and you're kind of on bottle like five, six for the group. Um, of three. Of three. <laughs> uh, you bring out a Tuesday night wine because yeah. at that point, everybody's so jammed out, yeah. their tongue doesn't know or, or you have friends that come over that aren't real wine drinkers <laughs> and don't really know the difference. <laughs> um, yeah. Then we bring out yeah. the Tuesday mm-hmm. night wine. The Tuesday night wine. So Only not because we're cheap, but because some people don't appreciate wine like we do. Well, especially if it's like and something really special. Habitual. No, but... I mean, it's it's a legit thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they don't care. And some people will be like, don't waste the good stuff right. on me. 
I'll, like I would know. say that about beer. I don't know anything about beer. Give me a Bud Light. Give me something that I know. But that's about it. Like I don't know about IPAs and. I know, but are you like? And I don't drink beer really. But I'm just saying. I'm trying to make an analogy. It, it's, it's a great analogy. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go all the way with you on that. I would say for me. I don't drink whiskey or bourbon, but it would be the equivalent Same. of yeah. that, right? Yeah. Don't give me the fancies. Yeah. Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So just give me the Jack Daniels. Yeah. If I were to drink it. Correct. Yes. All right. Anyway. But but now we will let everybody know. Are we drinking a Tuesday night wine? Are we drinking a non-Tuesday night okay. wine? So this week, Miko was in charge of the wine. I was. And so. I just grabbed one. <laughs> <laughs> And I believe this was a nice gift. So this is not a Tuesday night wine, technically. Right. I think it's above $50. Okay. Well, it's delicious. And it I'm a big delicious. fan. It We're is We're a big delicious. fan of a cab. Mm -hmm. So Even in but. the summer. So the secret is that we chill our reds. You mm -hmm. and I do. Mm -hmm. And I remember being told once that a lot of people drink their whites too cold and their reds too warm. They should almost be the same temperature. See, I don't like it when my red is too cold. Oh, I like mine cold. Oh, I don't. But in case people want to know, this is a Knights Valley Reserve. It's, oh, it's Beringer the as an actual winery. But is I think it's their high it? end. Yeah, I think it's their high end. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Vanna White pose. If we but. had a call in, my husband would be calling in right now. <laughs> um, like, Miko, did why you did a, you take that? Up? Did you get a stool and go to the top of right. the wine he, fridge? <laughs> he purposely puts the very nice, nice wine on the very top shelf that I can't reach. Yeah. So, which is so rude. That's when I'll be like, Randy, I'm going downstairs with Miko. I can reach the top <laughs> shelf. <laughs> so, oh, funny. all right. So if anybody has a wine that you want us to try on the episode, let us know. Yeah. We'll drink it. Send it to Slide us. Slide on into our DM. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what that was. Well, Some, it's kind of like a hot, sexy thing. Oh, as is opposed it? to like, you Somebody know. said that the other day at, at Glow. And I was like... Define sliding into your DMs. Is that just emailing somebody? No, and you're like in the messages in their Instagram or Snap. Okay. Do you send messages through Snap? Yeah. Well, actual snaps. Yeah. But like DMs would be more Instagram. Yeah. Whatever. We're, I mean, we're well beyond our yeah. years that someone's sliding into our yeah. DMs. I mean, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one sliding into my DMs. <laughs> because I'm sending you real. <laughs> I like, know. We should do this. Yeah. Or this is awesome. I anyway. Know. I have like a whole list of things. Like places we need to go. Things we need yes. to do. Experience. All of our bucket list stuff because we're going to be empty nesters soon. I know. So it's sad. like sad, but I'm kind of excited for it at the same time. Yeah. We've, yeah. we've done it. We've done our job. Yeah. We tease Kylie all the time. Like, she's going to want to come home from school. And she'll be like, oh, I'm bringing some friends home. We're going to party with you guys for the weekend. And Chris is going to be like, yeah, no, we're not there. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Use the house. Figure it out. Oh, goodness. All right. So you've been at U of M every weekend. Yeah. Oh, much. you had a big fun weekend. You went to a concert. We did. We went to a game and then a concert in the same day. I mean, that's like an all-star Miko kind it of day. It really was. I had to take a nap. <laughs> Halfway through. So the problem with noon games is, uh, you know, I, I got a wake-up call at like 8.30 yeah. to start tailgating. Yep. Randy and I had to go pronto to McDonald's to get a base. And then we... Um, now, did you drink the night before when you got there? Of course. Okay. Yes. Yes. Found this great place um, that I'd never been to that had these margaritas that would just knock Yum. you on your ass. Yeah. My friend Jill was there. And so we went and met her. And um, I had one. And that was it. Really? I, it was, yeah, it was strong. Okay. And I knew what the next day was going to be about. Yeah. So I didn't, you know. So you behaved yourself. I behaved. So, but anyway, we got up and um, went to McDonald's. And then I took... I'm so crafty. I took the coffee because, you know, I don't really drink coffee. Yeah. So I took the coffee in my value meal. Okay. Brought it back and made an espresso martini with that coffee. Okay. Double. Refilled it with the coffee cup. And it was our to-go cup. Oh, there you go. Was it, was it a good martini with I McDonald's think, coffee? I think it was. Okay. Yeah. We added some extra Godiva uh, liqueur. Okay. Randy likes it sweeter. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. 
Oh, if he likes it sweet, I tried an espresso martini mixer from Peel and Pear. Downtown. Oh, yeah. How is it? How it was that? sweet. It was really good. Oh, he would love that then. But it was sweet. And I could only have one. And I couldn't have another one. So now I'm like bound and determined to get all the stuff to make an excellent espresso okay. martini. Okay. I Let's go. Because I've been working on mine for a little bit. And yeah. I still don't have it perfected. But somebody told me that I should use vanilla vodka. Okay. And I should use um, like a white chocolate liqueur and a dark chocolate liqueur. Interesting. Yeah. But I feel like that would make it really sweet. And strong. Yeah. Those are not like. Are those liqueurs aren't like very heavy, are they? I don't in alcohol? know. Are they, are they heavy in alcohol? No. I don't okay. think so, no. But I put Mr. Black's liqueur in mine. Okay. And it's a coffee liqueur. Yeah. But that's what Google told me to use. Okay. On, in mine. Yeah. So, um. Chris and I went to 118 the other night. Mm-hmm. That guy makes a really good he espresso does. martini. The guy with the glasses? Yes. Yes. Um, but then at Oxygen, they were like, mur, mur. Really? Yeah, they were schmash, meh. But at 118, I was a big fan. But okay. then they go to the espresso machine and get like fresh espresso oh. out of the machine. And we have an espresso machine. So I'm like all in to try to like perfect okay. this. That might be my weekend task. There you go. Yeah. Do it up. Yeah. Because I'm going to start prepping my living room for my big construction project that I have with my dad starting next week. What is it? What are you guys doing? I'm doing board and batten all through my living room. Oh, my God. And it's going to go up like six feet. <clears throat> and it will be like a um, – and everything will be painted like a deep navy blue. Okay. And then it will be um, like such a bright gray. It looks almost white on top. And then I'm going to So need board and batten six feet up. Mm-hmm. And then – With like a big um, – trim like at the top okay. like crown molding that would like come out not or not like like a shelf but okay. enough to like dress it up and it's going to be up a little higher so then you can enjoy the detail Love um, it. yes no I'm super excited how long is that going to take you guys oh not very long at all it will take longer to paint it than it will be to oh, okay throw it you're out. not painting it too are you <laughs> no okay. no I was gonna say no no Eric's gonna come in and he'll paint it Okay. Oh, and then I had to change my light fixture because for the second time it started like falling from the ceiling. I don't know. I feel like the person who... <laughs> I feel like that should be dangerous. Well, I feel like who's in charge of dusting it might have had an issue. So now I have a ceiling fan in there. Oh, okay. Which with the, as high as the ceiling is, I should have had one. Uh-huh. But I loved the light fixture so much that I would never put a fan in. But now um, that it started coming down from the ceiling again... Yeah, it's an issue. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now I have this giant-ass light fixture that I don't know what to do with. So do I. And I tried selling mine in Marketplace. No go? No, nobody wanted it. <laughs> and I think it's pretty cool. No, I think all your light fixtures were cool. Which yeah. one was it? That big, like, wooden one. Oh, with, like, the circles? Like the globe, yeah. Yeah. I want to see if your dad that. wants it. My dad? Yeah. For where? I don't know. They don't have a high enough ceiling anywhere. He does projects. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, do you want it? No, I don't have a high oh. enough ceiling anywhere for that either. My high ceilings are two rooms that now have ceiling fans. Okay. So, wah, wah. All right. Well, shout me out if you ooh, 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 slide ooh. into my DMs if you want a light. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was kind of excited to be like, hey, I know you were selling your light fixtures on Facebook Marketplace. Give me, like, you know, the details to do that because... Oh, I had Alex's friend do it for me, Abby. Oh, okay. I still didn't sell. Oh. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's do you think it's, nice. Do you think it's overpriced? Oh, man. Yeah, but wouldn't they warn me? I don't know how to do it. I don't think anyone's going to warn you. I think no one's going to, like, be interested. Is $300 too much? Probably on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, really? In Midland. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'll lower the price. Because, I mean, at this point, you're just happy to get it out of your house. Yeah. And maybe make 100 bucks. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so, true. And then you can just go buy more espresso martinis in 118. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so complete topic change, but the Chicago Bears won on Sunday. Oh, they I'm did? Super excited about it. Yeah, not because of their amazing offense, because the defense is amazing. Well, but- I think, see, it's my theory <clears throat> of any team that goes on hard knocks ends up having a pretty good season. I know, but you're not going to win the next 16 games just because you catch intercept- interceptions. No, but, you're not. I mean, our but offense is going to have to learn to do something. But, that's good. 
Um, I was very upset with my mother because I, I, wonderful surprise, came home from golfing and my dad was putting in the new ceiling fan in the living room. Okay. Like, obviously didn't want to wait around for me, but I told him he couldn't do it by himself. So my mom did come over to make sure he didn't, like, fall. Die. Um, But I'm like, why do you guys not have the Bears game on? And she's like, I gave up on the Bears. And I was like, what? She sounds like a Lions fan (gasps) from two years ago. She sounds like, I don't know. But I was a little sad. And she's like, well, the last time I checked, they were losing. I turned it on, and they were winning. And then they caught another interception and scored a touchdown and made the distance even better. So it was Oh, nice. The Lions won, too, in overtime. So, you know. On Monday night. (sighs) It's going to be tough. So the Lions, um, I don't like the 8.30 start. Sorry, Rams, but, you know, that was way too late. I I, um, stayed awake for one quarter. Yeah. And I had a good night. I know. We had a meeting here early on Monday, and some people were like, I couldn't stay up. And others were like, I was struggling to stay up. Oh, my God. So I was like, "Eh, Bears played at one. I was fine. Yeah. I just just would check the score while I was golfing. (laughs) I mean, we had to wake wake up the next morning and say, Alexa, who won the Lions game? I know, right? Yeah. So, well, eh, congrats. Happens. So, congrats. All right, so our girls are seniors. Mm-hmm. They're starting the college apps. Yes. But Kylie has already decided. Oh, yeah. No, we went and visited Ferris last weekend. I or love last it. Thursday. Let's go Bulldogs. She loved it. So, Ferris State is in Big Rapids, Michigan. Miko and I are both Bulldogs. Yes. Um, class of 95. Yeah, class of 02. But doesn't matter. Just totally connected. Um, you know, our lovely producer, Kelsey, Fair State graduate. Chad, Fair State graduate. Mm-hmm. Jason, another amazing editor of BLive, Fair State graduate. Bulldogs. Chris Keeper, CEO of BLive, <laughs> Fair State graduate. So Bulldogs are everywhere. The Bulldogs are everywhere. So not going to lie, she used to knock it. Big time, like, oh my God, mom, they have like 100% acceptance rate. Right? I would never go to school in Big Rapids. But then as she got older, mm-hmm. she was like, I can be a plane right away for the rest of my life. If I'm close by, you and dad will come to like football games, mm-hmm. you know, come to events. I can easily come home if I need to. And she's like, if I think about it, all of your close friends who I consider like aunts and uncles in my lives are fair State graduates and very successful people. And I was like, um, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so now she wants to be a bulldog. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, what Ferris looks like now compared to when we were there, yeah. we went to college with Woodbridge Ferris himself. Yes. And this is a completely, yes. this is a completely different school. Helen, the town hasn't changed. Okay. But what campus offers to the students and the way things look now, like the Rock Cafe, what looked like it belonged in a hospital when I was there. And like, now... What's the Rock Cafe? That wasn't even there when I was there. Was that like mm, Rankin Center? No, not Rankin Center. Was there a cafeteria like by Merrill Travis when you were there? Yeah. Okay. So whatever that was, was the Rock when I was there. And it's still called the Rock. But I think it was newly named oh, my actually, freshman year. Oh, no. It was like a dorm. There was never a cafeteria over there. Okay. I lived in Brophy McNerney and I had to go... I was it called lived. South or something like yes. that? Yes. South. Yeah. That's where all the football players lived. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that I vaguely remember that, that they had just changed it from South to the Rock. Mm-hmm. And now you go in there, it's like a mini Italy. Oh, my God. Not kidding. Like different stations. They have a whole like hibachi thing. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then or like Mongolian barbecue. Yeah. And you like get all your stuff together. And they have this nine allergen station. And you go and, which is nice because Kylie has to be gluten-free, you go and you like fill this out and then they just go in the back and then make you all your food. Nice. So huge. And then everything's labeled too. Yeah. So it's great. So I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm very excited for her. That's awesome. So yeah. I can't she wait to She met with the it. golf coach. I mean, we're not sure if she's going that route yet, but it was a great meeting. Good. And is just making her golf season even better this because she feels like she has goals to meet, which is awesome. Yeah. And as a parent, you're excited to see that. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yay. And Mr. Nugget Yay. has his fair state sweatshirt on. Let's go Bulldogs. <laughs> He's so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Evie is doing all of her apps. Yeah. She's with, going like deep in. She's going yeah. deep. So she is going um, like her essays. Um, she just finished her last one last night. For like the common app. 
For yeah, so every school has different essay requirements. Yeah, and she's applying to like twelve different schools, so they're all they all require different essay requirements. Okay, but she Evie finished. has gone. She's been diving into like having an excellent SAT score since like junior year. Yeah, what was what was her last one? It was high. It's high. It's high. It's, it's high. good. It's good. Yeah, she's submitting it. Yeah, it's she's good. So yeah, yeah. she that was kind of her goal always with. Um, school is like she wanted to get a really high SAT and get into some really competitive yeah. schools. That yeah. was always her goal. So no, I'm we'll excited see. to see where she ends up. We'll see. We'll see where yeah. it ends up. She won't know till whatever, January, February. Yeah. Well, maybe she'll find, we can celebrate on spring break like we did with Alex. Yeah. So yeah, maybe. My gosh, wouldn't that be something? Because we were at Eshkarat last time <laughs> when Alex found out that she got into U of M. So I mean, we'll see. We'll see. All of a sudden, they'll just be coming through. Evie's like, I got accepted everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, we'll we'll just have to start flipping coins yeah, to see where right. she's going to go. How about in-state? Well, I'm sure that's, yes. yeah, that yes. would be great. That'd be great for us. Is she for, applying to more than one in-state school or just one? Just one. Okay. Just one. What she, do you know what she has her heart set on? Um, like major? No, school. Oh, yes, Michigan. Okay. So... And everything compares to Michigan, which is yeah. tells you her number one school, yeah. right? But um, but she that's where she has the most exposure as well. Yes, you know, no, no, it's an awesome school, great yeah. town, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Okay. Glow Medical Spa is Mid Michigan's premier med spa for skin rejuvenation and anti aging. The trained nurses and estheticians at Glow specialize in non-invasive facial aesthetics such as toxins, fillers, and lasers. Glow is ranked in the top 1% of all providers in the U.S. for Botox and filler, as well as Black Diamond Icon Satish for Hydrofacial. Glow Body specializes in body contouring with Nsculpt Neo, Emcella, Weight Loss Clinic, and Therapeutic Massage. Book an appointment today at glow-skinspa.com. Okay, what are we watching? Are, did you watch The Perfect Couple? Did you watch the whole thing? Whole thing. What? Okay, I am You all, haven't? No. Oh, God. I'm only on episode four. Do you feel like it, anything that you know right now is a spoiler alert that we can't talk about it? Don't talk about it, please. I'm not going to let... No, you have to tell me where you're okay. at. Okay, so <clears throat> I am just looking for little Easter eggs in this yeah. because I think I read the book. We totally read this book. Oh, I we did? did? Uh, so the best is, it wasn't until the end that I was like, this sounds familiar. The, right? So I had like to go on my Audible words. app. And yeah. It, so, yes. It's like we tag, read this. Greer. I remember the name. We read this in the book club that we got kicked out of. Oh. Well, maybe that's erased out of my memory. <laughs> and my Audible. So my Audible only goes back to, like, last year. Did you start a new one? No. From a different I Amazon must have account? erased them all. I don't know. Okay. I, but I couldn't find it. But I, okay. But so now I'm trying to piece together like, what do I think is going to happen? I'm projecting it because I, I still know I didn't it. remember. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I, yes. I don't remember at all. Yeah. Because I remember because that book club we were in was very much like only thriller books. Yeah. And this one was kind of like on the borderline of like, okay, someone's dead. Yeah. But it's not like a thriller. Right. You know. Also, the casting in it is fabulous. So good. And so how much good. pot does Tag smoke? Oh, my gosh. So much pot. What's so that much guy's pot. name in real life? Like Liam something? Lee Schreiber. Oh, my God. I love him. I do, too. From Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan. Yeah. He's a badass. Yeah. And hot. Yeah. He is a Dilf. He is a Dilf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I it plays his character to a T. Right. Like, trust fund baby. Yes. I have such... Zero fucks. Cat. Yeah. Zero. Literally have never held a job. Yeah. So Don't care. Don't my morning one. green juice has vodka in it, and I smoke dope and hit golf balls into the into the ocean. And they're probably all pro V1s, and he doesn't even care. He doesn't care. Yeah. He wants to try to hit the seagull in yes. the ocean. <laughs> That's his objective of the day. And, he, and that boat, that wooden, extremely heavy boat. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, I I'm loving finish the it casting. before the next time. Although I do have to say, the guy, God, I just spit a whole bunch. <laughs> the guy, the groom, yes, um, the the middle son, yeah, would be. His hair is bothering me. You know why? Because why? in certain scenes it's like blonde, in certain scenes it's red. 
What well, color you know, is gingers it? Gingers can be a little, you know. I don't think he's a ginger. Is he a ginger? Yes, because he's got red hue. We're cr- I call Chris <laughs> a calico hue. cat because he's got auburn hair, but it looks brown. But then he has a red beard. It literally like fades from like red into brown. But this guy looks like um, Ronald McDonald in some scenes. And then he looks like Billy Idol in some scenes. <laughs> He's like cute and not cute. Right. Yeah. He's like on that Seinfeld episode when the girl was ugly but only cute in certain lights. So Jerry <laughs> would keep putting her in the same booth because she was only cute in that light. And as soon as she stepped out of that light, he's like, mm. yeah. That's yeah. how I feel about that guy. Yeah. No, I agree. I hate the older brother. Oh, he's such a dick. Oh, my God. I can't stand him. Such a dick. And is that Dakota Fanning? Uh-huh. His yeah. wife. Okay. Mm-hmm. She plays a very good bitch. She does. Well, I mean, she's been an excellent actress since she mm-hmm. was like three. Yeah, so, true. She's brilliant. She was in the vampire. Um, mm-hmm. What was that vampire movie with Brad Pitt? Interview and- with a vampire. Yes. Mm-hmm. She was like 12 or something. No, and that was not Dakota Fanning. That was. Oh. It um, wasn't? Um, no. Mm-mm. Reese Witherspoon? Nope. But kind of like her. Are you oh, Kirsten it? Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. She Kirsten was in an Dunst. interview with a vampire. Oh, my bad. Yeah. But Dakota Fanning was in. She was little when she started too. She was little when she started. She was in that cute Uptown Girls with Brittany M- Murphy. Did you ever see that? Mm-hmm. Where Dakota Fanning is from just like a well-to-do like Manhattan family and Brittany Murphy becomes her nanny because she like lost her trust fund or something and needed money but still wanted to live the cush lifestyle. Yeah. Um, that was really good. Oh, what was, was it Man on Fire where Denzel Washington was like her bodyguard? Oh yeah, I don't know she if that was, was the like name of the movie. Famous, but yes, but it was. Her yeah, her dad, dad was like, was like a, a dignitary or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, she was good in that. <clears throat> okay, let's get down to the real juice. Yes, the real lives of Mormon wives. Oh my God! So I've only <sighs> watched. So has only one episode been out so far? No, uh, the the whole season. No, ha- is it? Yes, I've only watched the first episode because I thought it comes out like every week. Katie. You've got to watch seven more episodes, and oh. then we can chat about this. Oh, my God. I had this whole plan that I was going to set up a GoPro just to, like, watch our reactions because it is the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in my entire life. First of all, these women are getting married. They're not even women. That's so fucking <laughs> Are you hot having right a hot oh flash? Woo. All right. All right. You okay? Yeah. Um, I get it. I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> These women, they're not even women when they get married. They're little girls. Well, the one girl was like 16. She was 16. Her husband was 21. Their parents Which is gross. Like matched them up. I don't care how darling she is and how cute and he is. And now she's divorced. It's gross. She's 22, divorced with two or three kids. So the, here's my theory. Yes, bring it. Is they are so su- suppressed by their religion mm-hmm. and their beliefs. They don't know any better. And so they're getting married. The male is the dominant person in the relationship. They never had a time to go to college or whatever. Not even, even if you don't go to college, you do something after high school. And that or is, even if like they went to BYU and just were looking for a husband. Yeah, if, yeah. And you go and you travel and you do whatever, but you well, don't do. just go on get their mission. married. Yeah, and get have a baby immediately. Yeah. And so now that they're in their twenties. They're twerking for TikTok because they got to get that shit out. Like at some point in your life, you do have to get so it you out know, of your system. So they're twerking for TikTok is the same as somebody whose parents were super, super strict yes. growing up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm protecting my child from everything and they have all these rules and they can never be free. They go to college. Mm-hmm. They end up drinking and partying, sleeping around, doing all this stuff. And then they're on academic pro- probation <laughs> and get kicked out of school. Yep. You know, so these girls are on mommy probation, right? Should be. And they all, the the one thing about them, and I just saw a TikTok on this, they're like, all these girls are model beautiful. I mean, they're they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like the one girl owns her whole, or um, a hair extension empire. Yeah. So of course they all have beautiful hair and their husbands are trolls. Oh, I, I, okay. I thought this was one was oh, being released girl, a week. you've got to go back oh, and watch. I'm These husbands deep. won the lottery with wives. And they treat their wives like dog shit. 
Which is brutal. I'm not even kidding. Like, I I just have to, I'm spoiling it for you. I'm sorry. That's fine. I love you, but I, I'm still, I I'm still going to watch because it. I'm because I'm so pissed about this it's one a good sauna situation. This one girl who's so darling, she's supposedly, they're supposedly Ben Affleck's fourth cousin. Her name is Jen Affleck. Her husband is in medical I'm school. Bullshit on that, but okay, go ahead. And she is supporting them because she's on TikTok. On TikTok, right? So they're all. First of all, they're all the breadwinners of their families. So the, all of their husbands, even though they boss them around, well, not all of them, but a few of them, mm-hmm. are like, "You can't do this, and you can do this." Finally, they're coming to the realization of like, "Bitch, I'm the money maker." Okay, who, who are you talking Good. to? I'm, I'm excited to see yeah, that. You'll like, root come about. for certain girls. Yeah. And some of them have been divorced because they got married so young. Mm-hmm. And anyway, they take a trip to Vegas. Oh, my gosh. And they go to the um, Chippendales <laughs> because they're comped it or yeah. whatever. And the one girl that's Ben Affleck's fourth cousin went. She was just like, I can't even look. I, I shouldn't be here because, like, my husband's oh. going to be so mad at me. And they're like, you're not fucking them. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Why are you so scared? She's like, no, no, no. He's going to be really mad. Turns out, he, she goes, I got to go call him. Like, in the middle of the meet and greet or whatever. Called him. He's like, I want a divorce. <gasps> I can't be with somebody that has this kind of a character. She's hyperventilating, bawling. Meanwhile, she's not even doing anything. These bitches don't drink. They don't drink. You know what they drink? Pop. Well, they're not supposed to have caffeine either. They can't have pe- caffeine or tea, but here is the hypocrisy of it all. They can do shrooms. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, Bro. I'm not saying any religion is better than any other. Yeah. I'm just saying there's a lot of fucking hypocrisy <laughs> in this one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's insane. It just, I'm so mind boggled by the whole thing because you've seen the stuff like on TikTok where someone will go on to like BYU's campus and they'll ask like these 19 year old kids, would you rather have a cup of coffee or murder 12 puppies? And they'll be like, I, I'm not allowed to have caffeine. So, I mean, it's hypothetical. You could say, I'm, this will never happen. So I'm going to choose to save the puppies yeah. and drink the coffee because no <clears throat> one's making you chug Starbucks. Right. But they're like, mm, I'm not allowed to have caffeine, so I'm so going to have to kill the puppies. So if you think about what is better for you, it's probably coffee beans that come from the ground and not Coke that can clean a toilet. Right. Even though I'm a connoisseur of Diet Coke. I love you, Diet Coke. <laughs> but I'm not Mormon. Right. I also drink a shit ton of wine. I'm yes. also not Mormon. Uh, okay. So you can't drink alcohol, probably because it's mind-altering and your ambitions will change. Okay, which shows Great. because they all started drinking and then started swinging with each other. They didn't drink, though, they said, when they swung. No, but the, like, leader of it all. Taylor. Was, yeah, and she's the one that got pregnant with her, like, random new boyfriend. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and we all know how you she get doesn't pregnant. She doesn't drink. So. But she used to. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh. She talks about it in the first episode <laughs> that she would, like, they would all, like, get drunk together. Oh. And then all of a sudden, like. Yeah. There are a few that do drink, but I think they drink, like, on the DL. Yeah. So they went, they were. No, because remember the cops got called because she was like shit faced. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was in one night. Yeah. You're right. She does drink. Yeah. But. Well, she does it now because she's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. She's adorable. She, she starts out as a villain and then you end up loving her halfway through. Because her boyfriend's a total dipshit. I've only seen one episode and I can't stand him. No one could be dumber. Yeah. No one could be dumber. He, and he's an emotional mess and he acts like a big pussy. I can't. He's like, I just want to punch him in the face every time I see him on the screen. Well, that's not a good quality yeah. to have. <laughs> <laughs> I forget his name. Like, no, it just but I get fired because up that. because I just feel like these, I want to rescue them. I, go, right? I want to adopt all these women and just shake them and be like, what are you doing? And you're so darling. And the moms are the worst. Their well, moms yeah, are they're our set. age. Yeah. And they're like, you just have to like go through it. No. It's kind of like menopause with us, right? Yeah. Like. You don't have to go through it. No. You can figure out a solution. I need, it. I need my ice roller right <laughs> yeah. now. I'm so hot. Oh, I don't know. But, but it is so an insane good. show, and now I can't wait to catch up on it. Damn it. I thought, like, we were going to, like, watch an episode <clears throat> and chat about it. I didn't realize it all came out. Yeah, it's all out. 
but they definitely have to have a second season. Oh, it's going to be a huge moneymaker. And now they're all divorced. They're going to need to be able oh, to like and my support their 900 kids. Is this girl named Whitney? The girl, one of the founders. Whitney is she the one that went to, is she the one that went to Hawaii? Yes. Went okay. to Hawaii. I was not a fan of her in episode okay. one. Well, you definitely won't be a fan of her in episode eight. Okay. okay. <laughs> so Whitney. Yeah. She seems like a troublemaker. Is a fucking victim. Yeah. Um, all right. So she goes away because it's not going her way. You can tell she was the girl who got her toys taken away in her sandbox mm-hmm. and she just cried to her mom. So she goes away to Hawaii. Yeah. Cause whatever. Because that's Because of the scandal of the whole swinger thing. Turns out she admits to the girls that her husband um, was caught on Tinder. And she's like, he has a porn addiction. Whitney... He has a cheating addiction. Yeah. He does not have a porn addiction. And for you to be, she was like totally covering. She's like, but we're better now. We've talked about it. He's fine. I'm like, he was swiping right or left, whatever way you go. On I think Tinder. you swipe white right when and you And he like was like somebody. chatting with all these chicks on Tinder. Well, that's cheating. Right. You know what I mean? But if you're having an emotional like, relationship with somebody. Addiction. No, a porn is when you're like, that's poor jerking hug. off yeah. and watching it. Yeah. He wasn't. Not he having was like a conversation with somebody. Talking to actual people. <sighs> and he wasn't cute. I think he's I, so ugly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, peace Which out. She's not like the best. No, either, but. but you got mom talk money. But her skin is Bye. like porcelain. She is, does have porcelain skin. But that's where they put all their money into. They're like, we don't have any other vices, so we just get a ton of Botox and filler. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. Right, because that one chick from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City has, or is it like skin and laser? Oh yeah, yeah. So she's probably yeah. yeah, She probably takes care of all of them all. Yeah. Um, Have you started watching that show on Netflix called Chaos? No, it's good. Is it one? It has Jeff Goldblum in it, and I love Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Um, And there's like other famous from Jurassic Park. No. Yeah. Okay. I know he's playing the wizard in the new Wicked movie, and I'm so excited for it. He'll be perfect as a Wizard of Oz. Anywho. Um, it's, it's good. I mean, it's about a lot about Greek mythology, which I don't really know a lot about. My kid does. So then she really like breaks it all down. Um, but it's entertaining. So when you run out of other stuff to watch, um, so I busted my sauna blanket back out. Um, cause it's going to get colder. It's going to get colder, but I was just feeling super inflamed and I was like, why am I not? Do you not do sauna blanket in the summer? No. Why? I think because I'm overheating. Oh. Um, but I, but I needed to do it and it, mm-hmm. I feel so much better. And then Chris got that big, oh my God, is he cord, doing it? Cooler, uh, yeah. For a cold plunge. Yeah. So we had this like converter kit for the, the big tub in our bathroom and we were doing that, but now he's got that big giant cooler. Right. Did you put that transfer it from your tub to the cooler? So now we're, so we, we haven't used the conversion kit on the cooler oh, yet because okay. the cooler keeps it super cold. It's insane. Um, so he just puts a lid on it at mm-hmm. night. And it stays like 45 degrees daily. That's so cold. Right? And it's yeah. like hot out right now. So I, like today I went from the sauna blanket and I walked through the backyard and like hopped in the cooler. So. How was that? Perfect. It was awesome. Yeah. It was great. But then one of the cats like crawled up and I'm just like sitting there and I just heard. Oh no. And I look over and Pouches was drinking water out of oh, the thirsty. cooler while I was in there. So. It was interesting. Anywho. What are your cats, Katie? <laughs> they have plenty of water. Um, but I'm in, like, I have my sauna blanket shows. Yes. Right? And the second half of Emily in Paris just came out. So I oh, started watching that yay. this morning. Okay. Yes. Good to know. So. And it's so far-fetched, but it's just feel-good TV. feel-good TV. Right? I mean, Lily Collins, like. She's it, darling. It's a dream life. She's right? darling. You always have like this amazing French or like European boyfriend and dream job. And what are you doing to be able to afford all those clothes? All of those clothes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Your Instagram is not helping you. Yeah. On top of your She's advertising darling. salary. <clears throat> right. But um, but it's just it's just fun, feel good TV. Did you watch Selling Sunset? Yes, I've watched all of it. Me too. Oh my God. It's insane. Well, that's another thing that's far fetched. I mean, are you really wearing like Couture Valentino to like show a house? No, you're not. You're doing also, that because you're on TV. Yeah. Also, the fact that Chelsea showed up to the um, brokers open with no pants. 
<laughs> she literally had no pants no, on. No, that was totally for a plot line. Yeah. 100%. And, and to show off her amazing legs. She has amazing body. Mm -hmm. She does. But the fact that those girls had dressed kind of like her were calling her out. Their titties are out all, all the, the time. time. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. So no one's dressed like... No one's a real innocent. Mormon when they're when they're showing up. No one's off. innocent, or in that or show. business casual, right? Right. There's no such thing. No, I mean the one girl was supposed to show up to a construction site with reasonable shoes on, and she had on like you know stilettos. five inch stilettos. Yeah. So, but you know that glass house that they showed in the desert? So crazy, so right? cool. But then it was on another show too. What show was that on? Oh, it's been in movies. It's okay. been in music videos. It, and I think the same couples like owned it forever. And now they're finally selling oh. it. Yeah. They Airbnb that. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. that would be a nightmare vacation to me. Would you ever want uh, to stay in that? Nope. Can you nope. imagine the wild animals at night? Well, you're just surrounded by rocks. And coyotes and, and like shit. The, It's like the desert, right? Uh, it's 100% the desert. No, that's not a vacation vacation for me one thing I've realized after like I watch back some of our podcasts you ask me multiple times if I want to be mountains <laughs> or beach or where I want to where I want to go and I'm gonna start filing my questions because I do <laughs> ask the you the same question and sometimes oh I answer God. completely differently <laughs> it must be my hormone phase moon phase but the one God. thing that's consistent is I want to be by water Yes. And you know what's not in the water? You know where there's no water? The desert. The desert. So yeah. I have no desire to be in the desert. Unless it's like Palm Springs and there's like an awesome pool situation. Oh, speaking of Palm Springs, uh -huh. this is something I saw on Instagram and I wanted to be like, we should do this. But it's always sold out. So there's a place in Palm Springs. I repeated the name of the place to myself 900 times and I've already forgotten it. But... You do a sound bath while you're in a pool, basically in a floating baby uh, pack and play. <laughs> and okay. you're like laying like on like a floating mattress, but it almost, not rails, but it just kind of has like sides so that you don't fall asleep and roll off of the raft. Yeah. And then, then someone's doing like a sound bath while you're there. And I'm like, this seems so interesting and relaxing. So I'm like, I just, I'm just curious how much it costs. I have no idea because they're like sold out indefinitely oh. because it's so popular. And this is in Palm Springs? This is in Palm Springs. So then it put me on this giant wormhole like, should you and I do like a wellness retreat? And then I was like, but we do this wellness retreat. Are we smuggling wine into the wellness no, retreat? No, you can go to wellness retreats with wine. Oh. Yeah. There's one in Phoenix or Tucson. So you wouldn't want to do like a full detox wellness retreat? No. Well, because right now, if, would? I, if I'm going away from like my regular life, I want to have all the things that I enjoy. But don't you want to look under the stars at night at the end of your hard day of Pilates and floating and sound baths and just have a nice glass of wine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to somewhere sober. That's okay. weird. Moving on. <laughs> 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 but we'll find a place. We'll find Selling a place. Selling sunset blows my place. mind. Oh, she did? Yeah. Well, I'll ask her. Okay. Listen Here's the Thing is inspired by Be Alive. Are you ready to share your passions and creativity with the world? At Be Alive, their mission is to build brands and inspire people to chase their passions. They're always searching for dynamic storytellers and creators with a passion to join their team. A team of dreamers, creators, seekers, united by a common passion for adventure and creativity. If you want to join the Be Alive creator community, maybe shop for some fun Be Alive merch or catch up on all Listen, Here's a Thing episodes and blogs, head over to Go Be Alive and join the Be Alive family. Be Alive, it's that simple. I cannot believe the Mormon wives say. I was so prepped. I thought it was like one episode like a week. Yeah, they're hot. So hot. And we're menopausal. So sue us. <clears throat> Whew. I thought testosterone was going to fix this. Maybe no, you got to get on HRT. Too. You got to get on things. hormones. Are we taping? We should be. Because you got to get on hormones. You got to get on progesterone. You got to get on all the things okay. because it is for real, Bring ladies. It. You Bring over it. 40, you're well, in like, it. Well, like I used to, to only it. have like pre-period symptoms like 48 hours before my period. 
Now I feel like it's a week long, then I get my period. Uh -huh. Like I'm agitated. I want, I, my, I have a bottomless stomach. I never feel full. Mm -hmm. Like, or I'm full, but I'm like, fuck it. I'll keep eating, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Bring it. I've already consumed 3,500 calories in the past five minutes. I should have ice cream too. <laughs> like, it's insane. Just saying. It's, 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 it's a lot. For real. It's so a lot. Here's what I tell my daughters. By the time you go through menopause, it will be a breeze. We will have this shit figured out. Because when my mom went through menopause, she was like, you just deal with it. Fuck that. I know. It That's sucks. just like all of us looking like Blanche from the Golden Girls <laughs> at our age. Uh, no, thank no, you. thank you. I want to look like J-Lo. Right? You know, she's been through 60 divorces. 150%. How about that? You'd think after all of her divorces, maybe a prenup. And I mean, Ben's got Wait, his own money. She, has, she didn't have a prenup? No. With anybody? And they bought like a nine gazillion dollar house. I heard she's back with A-Rod. Is that true or no? Well, I don't know. Is she back with A-Rod? I, I don't know, know, but I think it's really funny when we were like, no one's showing up to her concert. She should be at Tunes at the Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, J-Lo. You I'll, need the, I'll, I'll, I'll you need the scratch Jenny from now. The yeah. You need the scratch now. Nah, I don't think you get paid to be at Tunes at the Trash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a volunteer gig. That's just, you just want the people to mm -hmm. hear you. Other gossip. Yes, yes. Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. Yeah. Um, I just read this. He has a new baby, but not with his wife. Does his wife know about it? Yes. <laughs> and they're trying to work it out. Oh, that's not good. Isn't that sad? He's 55. That sounds exhausting. Like, Dave, keep it in the pants. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Like, you had your days at Nirvana. Like, you've had your days mm -hmm. at the Foo Fighters when you were, you know, starting out the band. Yeah. I loved his book. He wrote a book called Storytellers. Oh, yeah. You've told me this yes, before. Yes. It's so good. And he does a documentary with his mom. Like, I'm a huge fan of his. I met talk him about once. how much he loves his wife in the yes. documentary? Mm-hmm. And I met him once. And his wife. Oh. <clears throat> well, look at you. And he's lovely. And I think, you know, mm -hmm. whatever he was Apparently going Apparently other through. women think he's other lovely, think too. It, yes. Because he's a rock star. Of course. But that doesn't make it okay. No, it makes it zero okay. Oh. And his daughter also is into music, and she has a beautiful voice, and she was on his documentary. Like, oh. she closed out the documentary. It was very sweet. So is the baby a boy or a girl? I have no idea. Oh. I didn't get that far. And I don't know who the mom is. Well, that sounds exhausting at 55. Right. So I just had a friend go down to Nashville for um, a sprinkle, and I'm like- What's a sprinkle? When you've already had a baby shower, but you're having another baby. I feel like there has to be- isn't there a Five limitation? to eight years between baby showers. Let's put a limitation on how right? many fucking showers you need. Right. All right. Let's just. But at the same time, I'm like, that would be like me being pregnant right now. No, thank I you. am months away from being like a newlywed Menopause. again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's take the menopause part of it out. You're months away from being an empty nester. Yeah. And starting all over with your husband. Yeah. You and I mean, we were babies. Like, we got married right out of college, yeah. then had a baby. So, like, we're so thrilled we're for this stage of life. I could not even imagine. Now, granted, I know the girl that's having that had the sprinkle. I mean, she was swinging single. She's, you know, traveled, lived in different cities, had a great, amazing 20s and 30s before settling yeah. down. Which I did not have because I had a baby. Mm -hmm. um, so super excited that, you know, found a husband, having a family, doing all those things. But, you know, it was a struggle in her 20s. But, man, am I excited that I can say it. You know? I guess there's a the trade-off, right? Because I was that person. I didn't have my first not, child until I was 32. Yeah, you weren't in your mid-40s. No, but, um, but I got to do all the things in the 20s. Yes, you did. Yeah. And so... I get, I get it. Like, I think there's a trade-off. I think you either do it on one side or the other. Oh, 100%. Right? Yeah. But I hope that if you do it early, that you get to enjoy the empty nest. Yeah. There's, I mean, and Chris and I only had one child, so it was very easy for us to have consistent date nights and yeah. be able to travel with each other. And, and you had you your know, family here yes, to help. And like, mm -hmm. all, like, the quality time that we kept 
our marriage going where I can see when you have like multiple children, it's divide and conquer and all this kind of stuff. Um, that sometimes you have to be reintroduced to each other yeah. when you're alone. And that's make it or break it for some people. So It is. Because that's I, when divorces happen. It's like either when they're little or after they go away to college. So right after Chris and I got married, I either saw Dr. Phil on Oprah or maybe Dr. Phil just started having his own show. And a woman was on there and she was getting lambasted by all these women. But she made a point. You find your husband. You choose to make a life with your husband and do all this stuff together. And then together you guys have children. Your children will grow up and leave, right? You have to make time for your husband. And I just remember watching it and all these women screaming at this lady when she's like, you know, put your baby to bed and, you know, turn on the charm. Now, I realize that that's not always like super easy to do. Um, and all that kind of stuff. But it is important to make time for each other and vice versa. It was one-sided because it was all women on the show. Yeah. But you and your husband collaboratively need to make time for each other. For sure. You know? Um, well, especially if you want to make it work after the kids For leave. like ever. Because that's yeah. your glue yep. for 18 years or how Well, long. and there's so much compromise. Like... I've learned to do a lot of stuff in the woods that I would have never truly wanted right. to do, but I've learned to enjoy it or at least be like happy and embrace it, d- embrace it and do the things together because it's making everybody happy right. and we're having a good time, which on the flip side, Chris would never choose to like see musicals, but now he's but learned he to enjoy musicals. You know what I mean? Cause he wants to be with you. Cause he wants to be with me. So right. we take turns enjoying what the other person mm-hmm. wants. I never wanted to learn to golf. But now I love to golf, and right. it's great to golf together, and it's a great thing for a family of three to do. Yeah, it's so, great. Yeah, and I love that I got you to golf the other week, and you had fun, and you did a great I job. Fun. I had fun. I feel like we should do it this weekend. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about our book. <laughs> oh, did you, how did you like Perfect the Sun? Perfect Sun is a great book. Isn't it great? Yes. Because it's not what you think. No. Mm -mm. especially from the cover like you had mentioned in our last episode you're like ooh, the cover looks like he's gonna go down the stairs and he's gonna murder a bunch of people well and I thought that like a seven-year-old was gonna go out like on a murdering spree yeah but it's a good book everybody what is it what Rachel McFadden Um, I made that Frida McFadden Frida McFadden she wrote the housemaids and the housemaids tale yeah um there that was much different than have you ever read the book um, I think we need to talk about Kevin. All right, let's talk about Kevin. I saw the, there was a- There was a movie. Uh, yeah. Two. But the, I mean, both. Yeah. Insane. It was about this woman whose child was super deranged mm-hmm. from from conception. Yeah. Like she never kind of wanted the baby. Mm-hmm. And then when she did, um, he ended up being a school shooter. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 And living in that. So this was much different. Yeah. Are you ready to transform your body and mind? Rebar Fitness Studio in Midland, Michigan is what you're looking for. Rebar isn't just a fitness studio. It's a community where strength meets serenity. Whether you're flowing through a yoga sequence, sculpting with bar, or unleashing your energy in a work or pound class, Rebar Fitness Studio offers something for everyone. Their expert instructors create an inspiring and supportive environment that will have you reaching your goals and loving every minute of it. Elevate your fitness journey, join Rebar Fitness Studio family today, and discover the workout experience you've been waiting for. You can go to rebarmichigan.com and use code LHTT15 to receive 15% off a punch card or monthly membership. I love the girls... Non makeup makeup these days. Right? It's gorgeous. But I look like I have polio <laughs> if I do the non makeup makeup. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how to achieve that youthful look effortlessly. You know right? what I mean? I need to start sitting on ice packs when I'm in here. I'm I so hot right now. I have my period. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably. I love us so much. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I'm sure she looks gorgeous and glowy. Oh, and they put the makeup like they know how to contour. My makeup in high school looked like I took a paintbrush, 
I had no idea what I was doing in high school. And just like painted that uh-huh. shit on. Yeah. It was terrible. I used whatever my mom got like in a, when you'd go to the clinic counter and you'd get all like the samples. Yeah. She would like give us the samples. And That's that was fancy. basically like what I had. Yeah, but it was like whatever the random color was. It wasn't a something that matched my skin right. tone. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, I just had Maybelline or whatever you could buy at the yeah. grocery store. It, zero skincare. Yeah. And mm-hmm. also, um, my hair was totally fried and permed. Well, it was. It was so. Yeah. That was the time. That was the that time. That was the time. Yeah. Um, mm. Anyway. All right. We were talking about The Perfect Sun. Yes. Um, before Kylie called. Such a good book. I feel. We, we can spoil it. This is okay. what we do here. Okay. We spoil. Spoil it. Oh my God. The dad was fucking crazy and I didn't even know. And I was like. Unbelievable. Yes. So I literally, Kylie, we had a golf tournament and I was listening to it while it's watching your golf. It's one of those things where you're like, oh my God. And I wanted to be like, ah, when I found out it was the dad the whole time. Yeah. Unreal. Huge twist. Yeah. Huge. Huge. It's a good book. Yeah. That should be a mini series. So uh, that's why I read it in two days. I just, I had to like, no. Yeah. So then I almost had to like, go back and think that just the way that the girl that was like trapped the whole time, Mm -hmm. um, like, oh, she never really said his name. She just said the one that put me in the car. Yeah. And I was like, no shit, this is insane. Yeah. But they paint the, like the mom paints the husband who narrates the book basically. Um, that he's like this picture perfect husband the whole time. Yeah. He's a fucking psychopath. Yeah. (gasps) Meanwhile, right? he's a sociopath. Yeah. Crazy. It's so such crazy. A good book. But the ending when it's like, did the son pick up the traits? Yes. Mm. Mm. TBD. TBD. I think there might be a second one. You know how there's like a housemaid and a housemaid's yeah. um, a second one? Mm. Maybe there'll be another one. Oh my God. Perfect son. It's kind two. of a good ending because it just leaves you wondering. Right. Right? <clears throat> Is it just. Because he did have weird traits. He did have son. weird traits. And not every therapist was wrong. Right. And he did like tie people up and put them in closets yeah. and like starve hamsters. Right. So it's fucking he, insane. He wasn't innocent. No. He was a very bad boy. No. And he knew how to turn on the charm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. It's like that. Uh, what was that show on Netflix? You. Oh, yeah. You know? Which part? Which part? Part of you. Well, the guy that plays the lead dude, like Penn Badgley. Yeah. I mean, he comes off as like saying all the right things, oh, doing yeah. all the right things, but really he wants to lock you in a box and keep you all to himself. Yeah. And then when it doesn't work out, he kills you. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it has um, glass windows on all four sides. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what's never brought up. And this is what bothers me because I'm a small person. It smells, it smells drive me insane, right? Bad ones. So this is a perfect thing. You're in this glass plastic box for eons and mm-hmm. how long? And he's giving you food Because he water. gives you food. Where do you There's go potty? No, uh, uh-huh. Yep. What are you going to do? Take a shit in a corner? Yep. You that probably I, do. I, I haven't seen a bucket. Or is he bringing you TP? And I haven't seen you say, hey, can you clean out my shit bucket? Right. You also, know? what if I'm on my period? R- no one talks about no that. No one talks about it. Because I'm talking about it right now, and it's making me really hot in here. <laughs> um, yeah. Because he only traps, well, no, he trapped boys, too. I was going to say, he only traps But no boys. one talks about, and I'm telling you right now, if you're trapped in that box, depending on what the food he's giving you, probably having an alcohol and sugar detox, guess what? You're shit in you're your shit pants. in your pants. So no one's talking about the fact that yeah. there's a funky bucket full of shit over in the yeah. corner. And you're just hanging out. Yeah. Waiting for your next meal. Smelling yeah. your own. And this is where movies and TV shows feces. piss me off. No one w- makes out when they first wake up. I'm calling bullshit all the time. Because no, I'm don't. so paranoid that I have morning breath. And I've been married to the same man for eons. Don't come near me. Right. Until it's all cleaned right. up. Right. And uh, when it's like pirate times and all that kind of stuff. When like people weren't clean. And they're just <laughs> right. like, You know. And they're just like. You know, going down, getting dirty. I'm like, they're not going Ew. down on each other. Gross. Oh, uh, yeah. In some pirate TV shows, can't think of the name of it right now, but there was like so much sex going on. And I'm like, but everybody thinks they're stinks. going down on each other in pirate times. I think they're just like going from behind. <laughs> 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 no, 
that's a I'm Game of Thrones literally does. Literally going to figure out what the name of the pirate show that I'm thinking of, and people were doing all the things, really? and no one showered, For and days. and they didn't pee after either. Yeah, Equals so they all had UTI. UTIs, and you know. <laughs> Syphilis. <laughs> this conversation is really going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> see, this is what happens. Thank you, Knights nice Valley see each Reserve. Other for like a, a month. Right? Mm-hmm. My gosh. If you enjoy our banter as much as we do, show us some love. Like, rate, follow, and share us with your soul sisters, your friends, acquaintances, random strangers on the street, your mortal enemy, and your family. And hey, tell us what you want our next episode to be about. It's like it's girls' night, but it's for all of us. Cheers to laughter, insights, and moments that matter. Let's keep this party going. I did have new questions because I was very (laughs) cognizant of the repeat questions that I was giving you. Okay. Okay. Can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Bring it. All right. How would you describe yourself in an elevator speech? So do you know what an elevator pitch is? Yeah. It's like a quick, like, hi, I am Mm. this. Yeah. I'll Hi. Give you a second. Okay. Hi, my name's Katie Kiefer. I am gluten free. I have Hashimoto's. I'm trying to do everything I can to alleviate my inflammation. And I will tell you all my gluten free restaurants and recipes. I love wine, tennis, golf, pickleball, and my dog, Mr. Nugget. Okay. I am a wife and mother. I probably should have said that too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So. Okay. Is that me in a nutshell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Except for the wife and the mom. <laughs> but yeah, that's you. But it's just about me. If I can separate myself, right? right. That's what a girl. As you should. As I feel like everybody needs a girl's weekend well, once a year. Everybody needs when you don't have to, to be, be a wife individual. and a mom. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. What is one place you visited that you never want to return to? Hmm. That you're like, fuck, no, not coming back. Uh, faster horses? <laughs> <laughs> that was a shit show. <laughs> wow. Wow. But actually, it wasn't that bad. We had... Chris- oh, no, we had great seats. I'm not talking about the concert. You were backstage at Luke Bryan. I know. I'm not talking about the concert. I'm talking about the people oh, in yeah. the area. No, but we, like, Chris set up our home little, like... Oh, yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, homestead yeah. tent situation. And there was, like, this guy that was like, you can go on my air-conditioned bus and use my bathroom. That's blah, true. Blah, blah, blah. That's true. So that was great. But, um, okay. But the... If you the had people. to experience what the main people had to experience, you would okay. have been like, yeah. peace out. Right, right. Okay. okay, that's a bad example. I retract that, actually. I know. Oh. When I was like, at my dad's house. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> when I was growing up, my dad's okay. house. It was a real shitty place to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a great answer. Because guess what? You don't have to go back there. I don't have to go back there. <laughs> um, which mom talk? I don't know any of them by name. Well, Is you it? can describe. Okay. Do you identify? Do you identify with? Mm, I've only watched one episode. Give me a Selling Sunset character okay. instead. Okay, do Selling Sunset okay. that you identify with. I'm going to say, thinking about this, I'm, I'm torn between Chriselle and Mary. I was going to say, you're like more of a Chriselle to me. Yeah. Um, because she is very empathetic with people she I want to see both sides. Yes. And I'm I'm gonna yeah. have your back. I'm gonna stick up for you. But also but don't, don't shit on my me. parade, right? Yeah. Because once you do, like, you know, right. I'm done. Right. Kind of right. a situation. Yeah. Okay. Chrishell. Mm-hmm. And I mean, she's got great clothes. She's beautiful. She's and beautiful. Apparently she just gets to be bop between LA and Australia. Yeah. yeah doesn't suck it. to be you. Okay. What's your favorite karaoke song to sing? Oh, uh, hit me with your best shot. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, super fun drinking game. Okay. So every time she sings, hit me with your best shot, you take a sip. Oh. used to play that in college. Drunk. Uh-huh. Drunk, drunk, drunk. So fun. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we should do that on Saturday. Okay. Uh, while golfing. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to make you golf. Okay. I might know the answer to this, but what is your dream home improvement project? With or without your dad? To my home right now? Mm-hmm. If I had unlimited funds, 
I would blow out my kitchen and like build like this super awesome mega kitchen with like a secret butler pantry that has its own prep kitchen side of it situation. Um, but you like to DIY. Oh yeah, no, I'm not doing that myself. You're oh. talking about a DIY. Yeah. Oh, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do in my living room? Yeah. I'm super excited to do that because I know once I have that down, I'm probably gonna do it in like four other rooms in my house yes. in some type of situation. Okay. So get ready because it's all it's coming. Snap. Okay. I'm, I'm pumped. Can't wait. Yeah. What is a guilty pleasure that you love that most people don't know about? Reading. We talk about <laughs> it's it. So every boring. Week. <laughs> We talk about it every week. Do we? Okay. Yeah. What else? Um, I don't. Is there like a food? Is there? I mean, I eat my fair share of dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. You do love those. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know. I, I kind of have a routine at night. I have this hair massager now that I got. Mm. Did I tell you about this? Mm-mm. So, it massage, it's like a massager yeah um you turn it on oh so it's, it's supposed electric. to have yeah it's supposed to have like an infrared thing to make your hair grow yes okay and like um massage your scalp and so i use that at night and then i like i just have a whole routine and anything interrupting my routine is annoying and i take oh, my yeah. progesterone and then i take my magnesium and then i'm ready for bed in no, my silk it's all very case. important yes yes yeah don't come touching me and feeling me up right. and doing all the things when you know that I'm putting 9,000 right. different things on my face. Right. Wait, can you just wait till I'm done? Yeah. Yeah. I need a shower, mm-hmm. all of it. Yeah. In like kind of a hundred percent in a very agree. chronological order. Yes. Nope. Love it. I totally agree. But I don't have any like weird quirks. I don't think. I mean, ask my family. I'm sure I do. You know, I was waiting for you to shock me with something. Really? Yeah. But- Maybe. I mean, I kiss my dog a lot. No, no, that's not shocking. Oh, I, I kiss your dog a lot. I don't. I don't know what I do that would be weird. I guess it's not weird. It would just be a guilty pleasure that nobody knows about. Yeah, but I mean, I do love Tracy Anderson method. We all know that. We all know that, though. Um. Yeah. I don't okay. know. Okay. No, that's good. Your evening routine. My evening routine. Stay the fuck away I love, from me. Show I up love after. it. Yeah. That's why I love evenings alone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or evenings that start going to bed at like 9, 9.30. I like to start getting ready for bed at like 8. Yeah. Not in the summertime, obviously. but, no, but it's, when it's dark. Mm-hmm. So in Michigan, when it's going to be dark soon because of the I fucking like time clock five. changing yeah. for the very last time in November, mm-hmm. October. When is the time changing? Okay. And I think that's it, right? Okay, so then we will be going to bed at 4.30, right? And then it's like, you don't wake up until 8. Yeah. Because the sun doesn't come up. Yeah, but sometimes you have to wake up and go to work. I know, you do, you know. (laughs) I'm just saying, when the sun comes up. Okay. What advice would you give a future mom? Knowing what you know now. Knowing what I know now. Having almost an 18-year-old... Up and out. It's okay that you don't have it figured out. Ask questions. Like if you see a mom or somebody that you know, then you love the way that their kid behaves or does something. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be perfect. And I mean, as long as you show your child love and you know what, if they're doing a good job, let them know. If they look pretty that day or they did a great job in their game or you're super excited that they picked up after themselves, let them know because everybody works off of encouragement. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like, you know, you want to over-encourage your kid like, oh, your booger sculpture is beautiful. Not like that. But, you know, encourage your kid and let them know that, you know, they're when they're successful, let them know that they're successful so that when you are upset at something, they're like, ooh, wow, I probably disappointed Mm -hmm. my parents, you know, because not everybody deserves a trophy. That's not real life. No, it's not. Um, but yeah, it's okay that you don't have it figured out. And when your kid's doing something right, let them know. Mm-hmm. Because then they're going to be really excited that they did something right and you gave them praise for it. Right. Because I don't think people realize how important that is 
because the people that don't get it are the ones that realize how important it is to get the praise from your parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh, you were so like, many. God, give me that time back. Um, I didn't love, Randy loves um, To Kill an Axe Murderer. So I Married an Axe or, Murderer. So I Married an Axe Murderer. Mike Myers. Mike Myers. And I'm a huge fan of his. Uh-huh. I didn't love the movie. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Maybe I need to watch it high. I'm not sure. Oh, that might make you appreciate it a little bit yeah. more. I I thought it was stupid. <laughs> and I didn't laugh. No, it's stupid funny. And it's like dark stupid funny. Yeah. It's not like and Adam Sandler funny. And I usually like those things. No. But it, 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 it yeah. But um, that was one of the bad ones. You know, you probably know what I like about it the most. Maybe not so much the movie. Had a good soundtrack. Oh, okay. So I think that's right. what I remember right. liking the most. But yeah. Okay. Oh, I have one more for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you live by any words of wisdom? Um, snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grow up with Tony Soprano? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> well, now you know that. <laughs> Cheers. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> 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 <laughs>